Hello everyone, this is 3D printed animatronic creature part 23. I'm moving all the servos just to show you uh, some of the movements, but there are some things I worked on and did some testing. But as you see here is the design of the gimbal. And there were some other things I did take off a little bit off the, uh, the chest plate, but I've not printed that yet. But that would, at the very top, where the opening is, at the start of the neck, I did remove about two, three millimeters off there, uh, just to give it some more clearance. But I'm trying to look at my other options for some uh, little bit better uh, linkages for that area. But uh, here's me putting on the chest plate, as you see here. Now I'm waiting to get another servo. <laughs> And it's going to be a little bit better for the turning mechanism. And uh, I shot some video and, and, and shot some really good video with a different camera. But this was another option. And when you get into making animatronics, you'll, you'll go down a rabbit hole to where uh, let's do one more movement. And let's do another movement. Let's do one more. And, but he were, this was a tilting mechanism that I wanted to do. But then, you know, when you, you, you get the head to turning, you kind of even want to turn it uh, or tilt it the other way. But, you know, the more movements, the more realistic it's going to look. But uh, as you see here, if, if I was tilted forward and back, that would look pretty cool. But I would still have to change the, ch the chest plate just to get clearances for the linkages. And also the servos too. So it would be more remodeling pretty much the whole chest piece. And before long, it's just going to get too big for the head. But I was sitting here and I was doodling around. I was just wondering, you know, with this chest piece, this chest plate that I have designed here. And I says, well, Wonder what would it look like if I put a body on it. So, for me to put a an animatronic body on it, I had designed a, a a baby newborn. So I just took this newborn and I enlarged it to fit the so-called chest piece to a point to where I, I would still have to do some remodeling. And plus, I've enlarged it so the servos would probably be more likely have to be redesigned to fit the sockets. That way it would be uh, probably standard servos because they're more torque. But, you know, it, this is not a walking thing. It would just be kicking like a newborn or whatever. But it would be a pretty good size, you know, uh, around probably, uh, I don't know, I guess about three feet, three and a half feet. But, you know, it's just something to play around with. Just get to thinking about it, but it would be better as a rod puppet, though I feel. But I did some movement tests and just testing, you know, as far as what I can do with, you know, all the servos working. Now I am working the the eyelid still with our RC radio. We're almost at nine thousand subscribers. I'd just like to thank everybody. Hey, I appreciate it. Thanks all for all the nice comments and the thumbs up. It's going to help this channel grow. And uh, I'm trying to make the quality of my videos a little bit better. I pulled out an older camera so I can shoot some footage. You'll see here after this video here. But uh, I appreciate y'all once again. Uh, you know, eventually I'm going to have this finalized. And then that way I can put this on Patreon. Everything has to be designed correctly and set to where then I can make the final you know uh, finding all the right parts for y'all have links available so all y'all have to do when y'all join my Patreon y'all can y'all have the SCL files order all the servos and all the nuts and bolts but I am using BSA and I've played around with this this software today to where you know you can have a robotic look and that's if everything is lined up in a 
in a certain way it will you know move the jaw move the mouth and you can have that individually in it but if you you can mix it and you'll see here where i'm mixing it but i have all the lips moving the jaw movement and the brows and it's turning left right and tilting but you know this has eight servos in the head and it's uh it's pretty good but as soon as i get this new servo i'll be able to control that uh rotation a lot better but it's coming along but you see here i'm plugging up the 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 battery for the eyes but uh we'll get this moving when i left this video this part of me connecting the eyelids on with a it's got a rc receiver and um I, I left it in there so you could see the size kind of a size comparison on really how big this thing is but uh i mean it's in this video to me i mean it's a lot clearer to me and it's it's brighter but uh what do y'all think and let me know in the comments and i hope y'all like my movements on this animatronic you know y'all been watching me do this for i guess it's it's two months now since i started designing it and we're at part 23 and and we're moving now <clears throat> well this animatronic's been uh, it's about two months now i guess when i started designing it and now it's moving now but uh, a lot of that might be uh you know trying to get a hold of certain supplies and servos and things and still have some trouble getting them but uh i hope y'all like this movement and let me know what y'all think and uh i hope this helps y'all but i appreciate everybody thank you for all the subscribers and the comments and the thumbs up appreciate y'all later